Today we are learning how to change a mixed number into an improper fraction. Now mixed numbers look like this, with a whole number and a fraction put together. Let's say we're asked, what is the correct way to write 2 and 1 fourth as an improper fraction? Well, the first thing we can do is draw our mixed number. We'll draw two holes as two squares, then we'll draw 1 fourth more as 1 fourth of a square. Now to write this as an improper fraction, we have to represent this whole quantity, but without using whole numbers. We need to rewrite these two holes. Well, to do this, we can split these holes up into fractions. Because we're working with fourths, let's split each square into fourths. Now we need to count up how many fourths we have in all. Well, we can count that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pieces. So our numerator is 9. And remember, we're working with fourths, so our denominator is 4. We can write 2 and 1 fourth as the improper fraction 9 fourths. Now let's practice one of these together. What is the correct way to write 3 and 1 half as an improper fraction? First, we're going to draw out this mixed number. Which of these is the correct way to draw 3 and 1 half? We start by drawing 3 holes as 3 squares, and then we draw 1 half more as 1 half of a square. Now as an improper fraction, we can't have whole numbers. How should I split up my whole squares? Well remember, I'm working with halves, so I'll split each square into halves. Now I need to count up how many pieces I have. How many pieces are shaded? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 shaded pieces. So my numerator will be 7. Now what is the denominator of my fraction? Well in this problem we have halves, so my denominator will be 2 to show that I have 7 halves. We found that 3 and 1 half can be written as the improper fraction 7 halves. Let's practice one more together. What is the correct way to write 2 and 3 fifths as an improper fraction? First we're going to draw this out. Which of these is the correct way of drawing my fraction? I'll draw two holes as two squares, and then three-fifths more, like this. Now to write it as an improper fraction, we're going to get rid of these two holes. How should I split up my two holes? This time we're working with fifths, so I will split my holes into fifths. Now what should the numerator of my improper fraction be? To find your numerator, count up the pieces. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces. So my numerator will be 13. Now finish the last step of this problem on your own. How can I write 2 and 3 fifths as an improper fraction? Well, 13 is my numerator, and we're working with fifths, so my denominator will be 5. As an improper fraction, this is 13 fifths. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What is the correct way to write 3 and 1 third as an improper fraction? You should start by drawing out your fraction, 3 holes, and then 1 third more. To write it as an improper fraction, split each hole into thirds. Then count up that you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 thirds in total. So your numerator is 10, and because we have thirds, it's 10 over 3. 3 and 1 third can be written as the improper fraction 10 thirds. Now here's your last problem for today. What is the correct way to write 2 and 3 fourths as an improper fraction? Start by drawing your two holes as two squares, and then three fourths more. Now break your holes into pieces. We're working with fourths, so we'll break our holes into fourths. Then we count up. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces. Our numerator is 11, and we're working with fourths, so our denominator will be 4. 2 and 3 fourths can be rewritten as 11 fourths. Today, you learned how to change a mixed number into an improper fraction.